Up next, we light the fireplace with a little help from Siri and our favorite smart home platform, HomeKit. Welcome and thanks for watching. Before we get started, I'd like to thank each and every one of you who's maybe viewed one of my videos this year, um, especially those of you who subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more HomeKit related content. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So today we have a pretty cool project where we're gonna have Siri light our fireplace using Apple's HomeKit. Now our fireplace is fueled by natural gas and is ignited via a switch on the wall. Now you might think, hey, you have a switch on the wall. Let's swap it out with a smart switch like a Leviton Decora or maybe even a Lutron Caseta and maybe we can light that fireplace. Though the switch that is currently on the wall to ignite the fireplace is a low voltage switch. So smart switches won't work in this instance. But there is a solution and I'm going to show you that next. So for this project, these will be the only two pieces of tech you'll need. And the first is this voice control fireplace adapter. And the seller for this on Amazon is TV Extreme. And I'll post a link in the description below where you can purchase this. And a simple uh, smart outlet. And this one happens to be from Wemo. This is the Wemo Mini. This does not need a hub and this mount smart outlet is compatible with Apple HomeKit. If you want to see a more um, in-depth review on this smart plug, and you can use any smart plug, but for this one specifically, I've already posted a review and I'll place a link to that review somewhere in this video up here or and or in the description below. Um, I like the, the Wemo smart plug. It, they're really inexpensive. You can buy these at Costco, two for 20 bucks when they're on sale. So that's like $10 per smart plug and that is a great deal. And the other thing I like about these is they are small enough that if you had two of these, you could stack them on one outlet. Um, a lot of smart plugs will tend to um, block the other outlet. So the outlet only has uses of one. These Wemos are great in that they give you access to both. And there is a switch to turn that on and off, which you will not need because this will most more than likely be hidden underneath your fireplace somewhere. Um, so again, these are for gas fireplaces that require a switch to turn on. Um, but this is the most important piece right here. So I just ordered this off Amazon and let's go ahead and open it up and see what comes with this kit. So it looks like inside of here is another bag. And the bag, let's see what we have. And these are all the pieces we're gonna need to make our fireplace home kit compatible. And it looks like we have a set of instructions here. Um, it says if you need assistance, please email us at info at TV xmedia.com detailed instructions are available on our website tvmediaxmedia.com this is a brand new item we really hope you are happy with your purchase if you can leave a product review even if it's two words it would be greatly greatly appreciated contact us if you need anything thank you that's a nice little note from them um, detailed instructions on the website so if you want to see or if your fireplace happens to be different from mine and the stall is different and it looks different underneath um, visit that website and that'll show you, they should be able to show you how to install it. And they leave their email address so you can contact them directly. Here we have a plug and a USB cable. Looks like USB to micro USB. Have a lot of those hanging around somewhere. And this here is the magic. And this is probably the relay for the fireplace. You that open there. And this is the relay. And here is where you plug in the micro USB. A little plug there. Goes there. And supposedly the install is pretty simple, straightforward. Um, you have two types of connectors, male and female, so that you can't switch them or get the wiring wrong. 
And there's also adhesive on the bottom if you want to secure it someplace um, underneath your fireplace. So this is the relay switch that works all the magic to get our fireplace compatible with home, home kit and with Siri voice control. So I'm really excited to see how all of this comes together. Uh, once you plug this in here, you're gonna plug it into the smart switch and the smart switch is actually what gives you home kit control. So make sure whatever smart home um, you wanna connect this with uh, or make your fireplace compatible with, make sure you get the smart switch that is compatible with that smart home platform. So if you want a, a Google Home or an Alexa Home, um, use those smart switches for that. So here's our fireplace and to ignite it, we just flip the switch and the fireplace will ignite. And then to turn it off, we just turn the switch off and the fireplace shuts down. So in order to install um, the components we need to make this happen, we need to remove the bottom grate here to access the bottom of the fireplace and the connections. So I'm gonna try my best, cause it's a little cramped in here and it's a little difficult to maneuver. And obviously it's a little dark, um, but I'm gonna try my best to show you how I install this. Um, if you look at the back, you can see that there is a outlet and that's where we'll be plugging in the smart outlet. So along with that outlet in the back, the other key connection I need to show you is this one here. Let me zoom out a little bit. So right here is, this is the a line coming from the outlet. Let me see if I can light that a little better. This is the, the line coming from the outlet and these are the two wires that we will need to connect to our relay. So this is actually gonna be a pretty simple install. Essentially, all we're doing is we are unplugging these two wires that are coming from the switch. Um, we're gonna plug those two wires into here, into the relay, and then we're gonna plug the relay into the connections where we remove these wires. And what makes this really easy is both of the wires on the relay switch are either male or female. So there's no wrong way to do this. All you have to do is plug them in and um, we should be good to go. Well, after we plug this in, we're gonna to have to plug this whole thing into the smart outlet with the included AC adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna try and find the best angle to do this um, so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So we are unplugging these wires. So uh, first I'll unplug the one here. Then I'll plug in um, one of these from the relay switch. And that came off, that pulled the whole thing off, but that's all right, because I'm gonna plug it right back in. So there's one, then we'll unplug this one. The second wire. These are a little tight. Uh, jiggle them. And then, We'll go ahead and plug in the other wire to here. And again, this one's male. I'm not sure if that's gonna pick that up. The one I just unplugged is male. And here's the female plug on the relay. And those two will go together. So there really is no wrong way to do it. And it doesn't matter which color wire you plug in. 
So now that that's done, these two are connected to the relay. We're going to um, connect these relay wires to um, the wires coming from the wall switch. So this last one is a little finicky, but I think I have it plugged all the way in now. All right, so make sure all the connections are in. So next thing to do is we're gonna take the, the cord that's going to supply power to this and then ultimately connect to our smart outlet. It's a micro USB. I'll plug it in here. Then I'm gonna run this AC outlet into this smart switch, the Wemo smart switch, smart switch, or smart outlet, sorry, back into the outlet to the rear. So I'm gonna go ahead and run these wires so that I can have them reach back there. Hopefully it'll reach and plug everything in. And I'll show you the connections after I run them. So connections are done. Um, I'm gonna to switch to handheld mode, so I'm gonna to have to apologize for the shaky video, but I'll try and point things out as best I can. So as you can see, there is the relay switch right here, and there are the connections we made. Um, simple connections, and I have the AC cord, which was a micro USB going back to in back of or to the rear of the fireplace where there was an outlet and I plugged in, I don't know if you can see it, a Wemo, Wemo plug back there. Uh, let me see I get a better angle, kind of difficult, but there's a Wemo plug back there um, that I've already set up in HomeKit and if you'd like to see how to set up the Wemo plug, I have a video and I'll link it in the description or somewhere up here in this video, but it's hooked up to the smart outlet um, so that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, the thing that makes this really work is the smart outlet, which is connected to HomeKit. So let's go ahead and see how everything works. So here's the fireplace. Everything's installed. I put the bottom grill back on to close access to the bottom of the fireplace. And um, just to show, in case anyone was wondering, the original switch still retains its function. We'll turn on the fireplace by pressing the switch. It'll take a minute to light. So as you can see, the original function of this original switch is retained um, and I can turn it off by turning the switch off. So let's go ahead and see how this works under HomeKit and with Siri. So here we are, here is my iPhone. We're gonna go ahead and scroll down. The switch is on the bottom. As you can see, I've already named it a fireplace and it is in the family room. And then if I click the switch to turn it on, the fireplace behind it should light. And again, again it takes just a minute for it to light. There you go, see it works in the home app. And we can go ahead and turn it off. So now you can set this up with any automations. Um, if you wanted to call automation, you know, make the room cozy and have the fireplace come on, you can certainly do that. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna ask Siri to turn on the fireplace. Hey Siri, turn on the fireplace. Okay, the fireplace is on. And alternatively, we can ask her to turn the fireplace off. Turn the fireplace off. Okay, the fireplace is off. And it's just the fireplace off. Let's see if HomePod can pick that up. We'll put my phone face down. Hey Siri, turn on the fireplace.
And let's turn it off. Hey Siri, turn off the fireplace. Okay. And that is via the HomePod. Um, so it works well, pretty simple install and you can have Siri control your fireplace. Hey Siri, turn on the fireplace. Okay, there you go. So there you have it, a Siri controlled fireplace via Apple's HomeKit platform. Um, very simple install today, just a few wires that you had to switch around, connect to the relay and then connect the relay to power and that power needs to be to a smart outlet. Um, that is HomeKit compatible. So in this case, again, I used a Wemo smart outlet and that worked fine. If you use a uh, Google Assistant or Alexa, you can find a smart outlet compatible with those platforms and have the same thing, although via those other platforms. Um, it works great. Uh, again, it, it'll take a minute or so for the fireplace to light up as it does with the traditional switch, but it works just fine and it's pretty reliable. Again, if you wanted to set up an automation, like say, hey Siri, let's make this place cozy. I think she might've heard me. Uh, <laughs> and then just have the fireplace come on. Or if you wanted to uh, set up a scene where the fireplace comes on when you arrive home, you can do that as well. Um, again, a very simple install, a very easy way to get your fireplace under HomeKit. Um, and that's gonna do it again for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Um, it's the holidays, 2019, so I'd like to wish everyone out there happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and a very happy and prosperous and joyous new year. And until next time, please take care and be safe out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah.